Hi, it's Melissa Maker. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal here is to help you make small but meaningful changes to your life each and every day. And the way we're doing that today is talking about nail polish strips. Now, prior to COVID, I would get my nails done from time to time, you know, get a proper manicure and then I would do my nails with nail polish pretty frequently. If you followed me on Instagram, you saw I did a lot of hashtag nails of the day or whatever hashtag was trending at the time. But you know, when COVID hit, I kind of gave my nails a break and then I started to get tired of not having them done and I wanted a solution, but I didn't want to have to paint them. I was scrolling on Instagram, of course, and I was served up an ad for nail polish strips. I was not a believer of this, but I did go down the rabbit hole a little bit. I looked into them and I was like, this could be interesting. So I ordered a few and I'm totally converted. I did these five days ago and they look incredible. So I'm gonna get into what nail polish strips are, how they work, how to apply them. I'd also love to know any questions or tips that you have about nail polish strips in the comments down below. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and uh, you can find me on the other social media platforms. You know about them and I'll put up my handle and stuff. All right, nail polish strips. So what are they? They're not like those 80s press on nails. Frankly, you can't really even tell that they have been applied and not painted on because essentially all they are are just pre-painted adhesive strips of nail polish. So when you remove the backing and you place them on a clean nail, they go on and look and feel exactly like a perfectly painted coat of nail polish. They're not wet they go on easily they're instantly done you don't have to wait for them to dry which i think is lovely and you know you have a multitude of colors and patterns and designs it's like it's a whole new world one question i got immediately when i posted about this on instagram was do they dry your nails or ruin your nails this is my third set of them and i haven't noticed any adverse effects my worst thing was that i picked them off because that can sometimes be a bad habit of mine but you know what, if you don't pick them off, um, they're perfectly easy to remove and I'll talk more about that in a sec. So let's talk about how they work, how you break them down. The way to start off is to file your nails the way you normally would before doing a manicure. The next thing I recommend is just a light buffing only if your nails need it. And the third and I would say most important thing for putting on nail polish strips is to push back your cuticles. This is something that I had not done before. I, you know, I always read, don't cut your cuticles, da da da, I didn't want to mess with nature. But what I did was I soaked my hands in a bowl of warm water with a little bit of olive oil for about 10 minutes. It also felt really nice. Then I just took another nail and I gently kind of pushed or scraped back any of that other skin, but I didn't want to cause any redness or irritation at the actual cuticle and no cutting was involved. The idea is like that kind of thick skin that grows at the bottom of your nail can actually get in the way of these sitting on your nail properly. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of as much of that dead skin cuticle stuff as possible. And then you want to put the nail polish sticker as close to the skin, to the cuticle line of your nail as you can. But before you go there, I would recommend painting a base coat on your nails and letting that dry fully. Once your base coat is done, you'll then have your package of nail polish strips and generally they come with different sizes so that you can pick the ones that best fit your actual nails. So for me, I pretty much focus on these ones. These ones are for babies, in my opinion. Ideally, you wanna make sure that you're getting as good coverage as you can. So you can sort of rip one off and look at it based on you know, the way that your nail is. And you can kind of see, does this wrap? Does it fully cover? So you'll remove the cover and the paper backing and carefully apply it to your nail, starting at the very bottom and ensuring it's even on both sides of your nail. Again, you wanna get as close to that cuticle as you can. Once the fit is good, you're gonna press it on using a firm and smooth motion with another finger. Now, if the fit isn't good, you can just gently remove it. And this is why you, you wanna make sure you have a perfect fit before you press it on fully. So if the fit isn't great, just remove it gently and reapply. Press it on well enough so that it's 
flat. You want to get out any bubbles or wrinkles and it has a little bit of play so you can lift it up and push it back down until you get that perfect fit. This is going to take a little bit of practice. Like I said, this is my third set and I can now say I'm a pro. I know exactly how to do it. So just give yourself a break. If this is your first time doing it, don't feel bad. Now the tip is where things can get a little bit tricky. I noticed the first time that, you know, at the tip of my nail, there was a little bit of a raw edge because of the way I was filing it. So what I've learned is kind of fold the tip over the edge of the nail, like pull it forward and down a little bit. Then I like to trim some of it off. It just makes it easier to file. And then take a nail file and you're gonna file in a downward motion away from your finger only. So you're not gonna saw back and forth. You're just gonna start at the top, push down, lift. Start at the top, push down, lift. That's how you're gonna go. And essentially what you wanna do is shave enough of the nail polish strip off so that you can quickly just pull off the rest of that edge. And once that's done, it's on. It looks great. The only thing you wanna do afterward is seal it with a top coat. Generally speaking, this is optional, but why wouldn't you? It just helps things look a little bit better and last a little bit longer. Now keep in mind, these will behave like regular nail polish, so they will nick or chip if, say, you try to poke your finger into something or do something, like I was trying to fix a light the other day and I did nick some of my nail polish off. But it's fine, just remember, it behaves much like nail polish, but I have honestly not noticed any other chipping aside from what happened to my thumb. And like I said, these have been on for five days. They're looking pretty great. Now in terms of removal, I was a little bit concerned, like would they be hard to take off? No, I used acetone. It took seconds to do and my nails were clean, easy and ready to go for the next set. The ones that I found on Instagram were called Lillian Fox. This is not a sponsored video. They're really inexpensive. Uh, and they have like beautiful colors and prints. There are lots of other ones available online. I think there are some even available in drugstores as well. So just have fun exploring, you know, find the ones that you love. I would say to get a few extra sets at the beginning just to practice on and kind of learn. But once you do, I'm curious to see if you think you'll go back to just painting your nails regularly. I have to say this is way easier way cooler and looks way better. So let me know your thoughts on nail polish strips in the comments down below. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks so much for watching.